Welcome back to episode 11 of Folk in Scotland. 11. 11. We're just 11. powering through 11. Them. Now, before we begin. Okay. I've been asked to do our very first ever shout out. Oh, I love a from shout our, out. From our neighbour. Right to right to my right here. You know who she is. Uh-huh. But she's asked to... Uh, uh, our, our friends listen to this. Okay. She, right? has, she has friends. She has friends. That, yeah. Okay. It, it stunned me too. Friends. I think carer is a better word. Uh-huh. But Do they live in one of those Zorb bubbles? The oxygen they, bubbles? You know what? They live very far away, so it kind of uh, explains that's good, everything. That's good, that's good. So I'm giving a shout out to Sarah and Andrew. Oh. Now, I've met them both. Delightful, lovely Delightful people. people. That's good. That's good. Sonsy names, isn't it? Sarah and Andrew. Sarah and Andrew. That's like Fergie and Prince Andrew. Oh, Sarah and Fergie. I n- uh, never thought it? of it like that. Is there some toe sucking going on? Oh there, my do you god. Think? Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> the last. I'll tell you something, Sarah. The last time she was here, she was in this unit, and we're just having small talk and uh-huh. just all the usual what we're doing and work mm-hmm. and all the silliness mm-hmm. and that banter. Banter. Like David right. Jason. And I'll tell you, she's hot. She's well well presented. You know one of these people that just have it all together and they just look that yeah, way. Just yeah. the full package. But uh-huh. we're talking away and in the middle of me saying something, mm-hmm. she says, I want to show you something. Oh, God. And she opens her bag. Oh, Lord. And I go, what? And she goes, look in there. So I look in. And above all the normal things like a wallet, gloves, notebook, whatever's in mm-hmm, a lady's mm-hmm, bag, mm-hmm. there's a bread knife. Oh, Jesus. And it's a wooden handle, rusty uh-huh. blade uh-huh. with the tip broken off. So I go, right. And she sees that I see this knife. Oh, she that was closes, easy. yeah, okay. she closes the bag Slowly. and winks at me. Okay. I took it as a compliment. I don't know what to even make of that. Mm, well, that's that. Sarah and Andrew. Sarah and Andrew. A lovely couple. <laughs> lovely. They're lovely. Really delightful people. Really mm. like them. Really nice. Knives. Always There's an amnesty Wouldn't... going on. You can hand it into your local <laughs> police station. <laughs> Imagine slaughtering somebody with a bread knife. See, the thing is, I thought she was... You're carrying it in your handbag. Mm-hmm. That's okay. But okay. wouldn't it be better hidden mm-hmm. in a loaf? Because Exa- no one, you always go, what are you carrying in your bag? You mm-hmm. never say, what are you carrying in your loaf? Plus, mm-hmm. it's a bread knife, it'll like, just slot right in. Like a baguette yes. under your arm. The thing is, my flesh is kind of like tiger bread, so a bread <laughs> knife would be quite dangerous to me. <laughs> a sharp knife just wouldn't get purchased, because oh. I'm quite greasy. Oh. <laughs> with the neck down. You are, I'm it's s- true. I slather myself in engine oil. Mm. Oh. oh, no. Slick. Oh, the, oh. Moving on. Okay. Okay. We always do. The last time, uh, our last podcast, we talked about me trying to improve myself. You'd, it, it's like it was like Claire Rayner. Yes, it I'm, was, and I feel better for it. You'd, you, I haven't seen any physical changes. No, but emotionally, I'm at least half a percent forward. I, I'm looking at you, and your aura has changed colour. No, I've got a new light bulb on. That's, that's okay. I've put a new light bulb. <laughs> I, I've I've got a more romantic it's, tone going. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. God, that's bright, isn't it? Do you like looking at a light bulb and then it leaves a trace in your eyes? And no. when you blink, it just... It's like I used to stare at the sun as a child. Uh, uh, absolutely, just, I could see this. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, I can see this from the thickness of your glasses. God, they're thick. <laughs> right. <laughs> so, okay. I'm going to now okay. discuss some of the highlight relationships that I've been in. Oh, God. And it's it's I, it's a longer list than I expected. Oh no, it's it's relatively short. These are just the highlights. Okay, okay. If we had, I've not been one for relationships. We'd be here all day. Oh. It's been a terrible, oh. terrible disaster. <sighs> so I'm going to start. Okay. With a a young lady I met mm-hmm. originally in St Andrews, and then she moved to the states. Mm-hmm. And well, her name's Anka, German. Okay. She actually had this parrot. Mm-hmm. Einstein. Einstein. And it was an African grey and that mm. little prick oh. hated me. Oh god. It watched a lot of martial arts films. Okay. So every time she left the room mm-hmm. it'd go Whoa! and try and kick me in the face. Okay. I hated it. Short legs though Short, apart. Yeah, it would Sharp claws. It could kick. It loved Bruce Lee. Oh. Right. So I was just like if you wanted it to shut up, you just put Bruce Lee on and it would just run over to the TV and watch it. But it was a very threatening bird. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, she moves to the States and I haven't seen her in years. She had this thing with her. Mm-hmm. 
So she gets in touch. Uh-huh. And she had a husband at this point. They've split oh, up. Yeah, okay. And of course, it's like... She's, just, a, she's at a low ebb. She's at a low ebb. So who who can I find? Anyone locally? No, someone 4,000 miles okay, away. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. So she, we're talking and, you know, and she's inviting me across. And I've got no intention of going and all this sort of thing. Mm-hmm. She says, oh, come across, you know, and all that. Uh, whatever. But then she's going through a sort of midlife crisis, mm-hmm. I would say. Uh-huh. And... This was at a time where she was going to lose her citizenship, her EU citizenship, and she was going to have to take American citizenship. She didn't want it. No. But luckily for her, Hurricane Katrina hit. Okay. And she faked her own death. Now, I found out, because I thought, I thought something terrible had happened, you know? But I found out from her sister. Right. And, and I phoned and went, I'm so sorry, I'm just, you know, like, uh, uh-huh. I, should, I should really tell you what's going on. So she faked her death. Her uh-huh. family were just sick of her. She was a, just a pain in the arse. Okay, you know, she was okay. one of these yeah, yeah, yeah. black sheep of the family. But what actually happened to her is she joined a biker gang. Okay. And she would go around with this parrot on her shoulder. God, that's a look. Isn't it? Uh-huh, and uh-huh. that's the last I heard of her right, riding okay. off into the sunset. Okay. New name, new everything with uh-huh. a biker gang. She only re- she only learned to ride a bike months before, Gee. and just went full on in. A parrot's not a pet; it's a lifetime commitment. Oh yeah, because they could outlive you. Yes, yeah. It's like a tortoise or a parrot. Mm-hmm. They'll be at your funeral. Both oh yeah, those animals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they wouldn't care. They wouldn't. Sh- a tortoise wouldn't have shed a tear, would it? No, they wouldn't care about you. I love it. I've always fancied I think a parrots, tortoise. I think they can be depressed after you die, and they never get over it. Well, they can them. pluck their feathers out. Yeah. Uh, Terrible. And, uh, but the, the, the focus, I think, do they not hit puberty and then they get like sexually aggressive? Yes. And then they fixate on one person. That so was, this if, if, if a couple this has anchor. a if a couple has a parrot, mm-hmm. the parrot will hate one of you. That's oh, this Christ. little prick. They're an I animal that's it. designed to live in like a rainforest, and it's got to know where every baobab tree is or something. That's right. I mean, the, the thing uh, is, I love animals. Yeah, yeah. So, so but do I. when they learn to speak English and they're constantly swearing at you, you take it really personally. Yeah, it's like they're like children. That I love to try and get my 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 relative children to swear. Mm-hmm. I find it adorable. The I smaller the child yeah. swears, yeah. I'm going to fucking kill you, motherfucker. <laughs> Three-year-old. <laughs> oh, it's wonderful. Isn't it? It is good. Words are meaningless. Mm-hmm. There's an innocence of children. I, I, I completely agree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's good that you're doing it. It's good, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that, that yeah, she's One thing about this girl, Anki, uh-huh. now, I, I really liked her. I got on with her really well. Uh-huh. But she would say two words that would wind me up. Okay. Now, her English was better than mine, you okay, know? It's yeah, a yeah, second yeah. language. A very clipped German accent. A very. Clipped. But she... Prussian. I, yes, but I shouldn't okay. feel this way. Okay. But she used to say, I've got to go to Tesco's to get tampons, oh. but I've been collecting coupons to get oh. money off. Tampons and coupons. I could have strangled her. That's like fingernails doing a blackboard, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah. That's like, you know when you... You bite in a piece of a uh, tin foil oh, with the old lovely. metal fillings, oh. and it used to send an electric shock mm-hmm. in your head. That's how that would feel. That's what it was. I've told you my mother likes a samugi. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> I told my mother <laughs> that the uh, Iron Brew Wicked, yeah, was a soft drink. Now my mother drinks whiskey and Iron Brew, so she was using Iron Brew Wicked as a mixer. Oh Can you my imagine? God. That's, that's there's now fatal. The, have that. you tasted you, you, 1901 Iron Brew? I had it the other day. Original recipe. Now, we were talking about this sugary. other day, but got distracted, yeah. which is not like us. No. So what's it like? It's it's wonderful. 1901. Oh. It's it's like it used to be. I felt wonderful. I just <laughs> I felt. I just suddenly there was a flash of light, and I was dressed like Dick Van Dyke <laughs> out of Mary Poppins. <laughs> But you dress like that anyway. I dress like that anyway. I've got a bonnet. The thing is, it's back, but like so is measles. That's true. So it's like it's a, it's 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 a kuma matata. Oh, it's, are we going to get consumption? I That'd think be fantastic. My, I think I've got gout. One of my toes, is, my big toe, is a bit dubious. You eat a very rich diet. R- rich diet. Yeah. Have you ever had buttered tea? Buttered yes. tea, delicious. Well, no. I had it in um, Kathmandu. Oh, it's yaki. And I'd be, yeah, yaki. I'd been waiting on it, but I didn't realise there's salt in it. Mm. And I went, oh, the butter tea. Everyone oh, try the butter tea. It's going to be great. And I took a big gulp. Oh. It came down my nose in a oh, restaurant. Oh, God. 
<laughs> I just I I could eat a whole pat of butter. I love oh. butter so bloody much. I don't, but you know what I do like? Mm. I went through a habit recently. I discovered Vitalite. Oh no, come on, no, no wait, no, listen, no. wait, hear me out. It's Remember that amazing. One? Yeah. Vitalite. Vitalite. It's brilliant. Right? Okay. And I got caught by my partner eating it with a spoon a few weeks oh, ago. You so I've pig. had to I've had to stop buying it. I like to hide in the bathroom <laughs> and eat a whole jar of Nutella with a long like Knickerbocker glory spoon. Oh you and uh, oh. I was caught once and it looked like I was eating my own <laughs> shite. <laughs> Like Bobby Sands. <laughs> Dirty Dirty protest with protest. Nutella. There was a <laughs> there was a guy I used to share a flat with and he was a young prison guard <laughs> at Bar- a, like Berlin Special Unit. Uh-huh. And uh, he was just first t- first like day on the job and like the other the other uh, the other screws mm-hmm. were like uh, giving them a bit of a hard time. And they were in the exercise yard and one of the guys has said to him, ah, "Someone suspicious about that guy there." And he says, "Good, right enough." The guy was walking strangely, suspiciously, surreptitiously, like footering about with himself. So he says, "We're gonna have to, we're gonna have to pat that guy down, strip search him. We think he's maybe got caught, contraband, a weapon on him or something." So they get him to a little side wing, get him up against the wall, legs apart, naked, and he, my mate had to glance at his anus. <laughs> And sure enough, there was something protruding. So he's like, oh my God. So he starts, he's got the rubber gloves, he starts tugging at it, tugging at it, tugging at it. And out it comes. It's a whole pampers. What? And after the pampers just evacuates all this shite, the whole body load of shite, all over the floor, all over him. This old lag had been in the, he was a lifer. Right. And he's, he's anus. Prison pursuits had just knocked the stuffing out of him. <laughs> so, it's just... It wouldn't. It was permanently dilated. Yes. So this was this wadding <laughs> was kept keep, keeping everything in. But they said he was in a siege situation, <laughs> and there was a guy called Sammy the Bear Rolston. Oh, that's a name. And Sammy the Bear Rolston was like this famous Glasgow heavy, and he'd been in prison for various like nefarious crimes. And he, a young laddie, had been in the prison, and Sammy the Bear had grabbed him. Mm-hmm. Taking him to his cell and was I doing all imagine. kinds of yeah. stuff against mm-hmm. as Sammy the Bear. The name suggests. Yes, I get it. So they had a device to like pop open the cell door of somebody's barricaded in. It was like mm-hmm. a pneumatic battering ram. And it mm-hmm. battered the door open. And all the all the prison guards have got this the gear on this mm-hmm. and the charge in. And Sammy's discarded the wee laddie and he stood there and he's got his hands behind his back and he's he fucking gesticulating and he, the, the, the guy that had been uh, shared the flat with had been taught when faced with a very aggressive prisoner mm-hmm. you mirror their behaviour mm-hmm. so Sammy's like we are, waving his hands in the air like a Tasmanian devil and the guy does the same mm-hmm. but what he does is he slowly slowly down the motion and Sammy is mesmerised and he starts slowing down the <laughs> like motion like a cobra as well. yeah cobra yeah and he's like, fuck it. The guy's like, it's working. Sammy's coming down. And just then he goes, hold on a minute. You have no fool in me. Reaches behind his back and he's got a bottle of fairy liquid full of his own piss. Oh. And he just squirts it right in his face. <laughs> <laughs> so I think I think the guy left the prison service <laughs> soon afterwards. Oh, it, it doesn't But imagine. <laughs> I don't want to be in prison, but imagine working in prison. And what attracts you to it? The uniform. It's like when I was young, I wanted to be in a band. Uh-huh. I wanted to be like traveling the world and like John Bon Jovi. You like, saw him and you like thought, Bon Jovi. Oh bon my Jovi. God, wouldn't that be great? Oh. No, I want to work with prisoners. I want to work with disturbed men that are going illiterate to throw jobby on men you. who get throw jobbies at me, who get kill me with a toothbrush. Yeah. Have you ever seen a prison? A, a tool made out of a toothbrush. I have melted. Holy and, shit! Yeah, it's scary. I, I was a while I was going through. I was watching prison stuff on Netflix. So Brazilian prisons, Russian mm. prisons. I've watched all that. Yeah, it's Russian scary. prisons. Yeah, scary. Yeah, stuff. yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, no. But Sammy, Sammy the Bear Rosen, he's probably still in prison. But that would, that would must have been like twenty five years ago. So he'd be an old man now, Sammy. Yeah. Again, just still a psychopath, old man. Psychopathic, yeah. yeah, like like the craze, yeah, like them in the prison. I think no. what I liked about the 
the main thing with the craze is everyone says, oh, when the craze were about, things were great. Bob's wins are always yeah. just to say that. <laughs> yeah. They were just lovely. They were just terrific. Lovely. They loved their mum. boys. <laughs> when they went to... <laughs> When there was a documentary about Jimmy Savile, they went to his house and he had all his mother's clothes vacuum mm-hmm. wrapped in a cupboard. Yeah. But I knew he was a wrong one because I opened his fridge and he had a quarter bottle of cheap vodka, mm-hmm. half drunk, and he had a single chocolate digestive wrapped in about 10 layers of cellophane. And that's a, a clear sign. What? Yeah, why? What? Why? Insane. When his mother died, he spent three days on his own. Just chatting to her. Just having a wee... Aye. Holding uh, a hand. Just yeah. last moments. Last moments. That would have been a there was a There was a guy... There was a, there was a guy... As an, an old artist guy died in this building. Mm-hmm. And he, one of the other tenants, he thought, I'll take the body to the creme. And <laughs> he, used, he used his home, his Volvo. The guy was in the back of the... <laughs> Like the Volvo, yeah. Oh but they'd never really got on. But uh, I think the gentleman that drove him had a wonderful conversation with him. Oh, he was doing... Can you imagine? Why would you be doing that? Yeah, um, you know. Have you ever seen a body? Mm-hmm. They're not as much fun as they make out. The life's out of them. <laughs> there was a... There was, there was a guy, so my brother's kind of generation in my hometown, one, one of his kind of school friends died. Right. And the other guy's... They broke into the mortuary and, and put a cigarette in the guy's mouth. <laughs> and the mother and father come to see their son on the day of the funeral. And he has a fag hanging out the mouth. Oh, my God. But who's the... Have we dis- discussed this? But you know the the snooker player, Jimmy White? Yes. He's for the... I think he's travelling community stock. Oh, you know, we did discuss yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, they took a body out. I don't want to footer about with a body. I've got a story about Jimmy White. Okay. I just got it last night okay. from a... a, a a gentleman of the gentleman of the internet, uh-huh. Neil from Retro Man Cave. Okay, the okay. gentleman. Uh-huh. Trust me, uh-huh. the best beard you've ever seen in okay. your life. Mm-hmm. Does he use beard oil? I think he uses every kind of scented it's, it's beard perfect. oil. Perfect, isn't it? It's perfect. Is he got a beard comb? Oh, he, ha- he has to. It's oh. it's it's luxurious. Coiffured uh-huh. to within a millimeter. Mm. Yeah, it's just perfect. It's okay. not like this crap that grows out my face in no, all no. directions. Okay. He's just uh-huh. he's a gentleman, uh-huh. you know. Is he like and a Persian king? Greater than it. he's yeah. like three Persian kings. Three Persian, kings. right? Right. Okay. So he sends me a link last night, uh-huh. and it's to this uh, Stephen Chow nineteen ninety ninety one film. I can't remember the name of it now. Uh-huh. and it's a Hong Kong martial arts film. But the big bad guy at the end is Jimmy White. <laughs> What? <laughs> yeah, it's it's sort of kung fu billiards, and at the end, the big oh. baddie is Jimmy White. I'll give you the link. My God, because he's 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 got a bit rotund. He yes. kind of looks a bit like Sean Ryder. He's a bit bloated. Have you ever seen the Sean Ryder wedding photograph when he married? Can you remember Donovan, that sixties British yes. pop star. Sean Ryder married his daughter. Oh, wow. the wedding photograph. Oh, I could imagine. Oh, what? Oh, I had a soft spot for Sean Ryder back in the day. Did you? No, did you not like I, that? I Baggy. didn't. No, I didn't like that. No, I was much more um, well turned out. No, no, no. I was into sort of living color and bands like that at oh, the for time. God's sake. So I enjoyed all that. I mean, yeah. all the whole baggy thing came out. I was just like, no. I bet you liked Flock of Seagulls. I didn't. No, no, you got that wrong. Oh, sorry. I was. You see, the, here's the thing. Oh. I loved Africa Bombata, mm. but it turns out he damages children in a way that I'm not going to say. Oh God, I was a big fan of Toots and the Maytals. Who? Like, Toots what? and the Maytals. I've never heard of that. It's reggae stuff. No, but proper reggae is good. Mm. It's good, but I don't listen to music. I've told you this before. Yes, yeah, I'm kind of the same. Never listen to music. Never have it on. Sometimes when I'm feeling a bit down, yeah, I'll get my Fish food, Ben and Jerry's, the big Knickerbocker glory spoon, and I just listen to music, sob, and the ice cream. Mm. So I'm feeling a bit bloaty. I've got a story. Okay. I was working at a taxi firm, mm-hmm. and someone's name came up, oh. and I went, is that, is that real? And it was Lee Scratch Perry. Wow. Right? Mm-hmm. And in Dundee, I'm like, what? Mm-hmm. Could, could I take the job? And they mm-hmm. went, you're not a taxi driver, I just run the fleet. And I right. went, please, 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 and they're all laughing. They went, go and take the job, right? Uh-huh. So I didn't get paid for it. It just no, went no, to no, the no. guy that was doing it, uh-huh. you know. And so I go down, 
Uh-huh. As Lee Scratch Petty, oh, he's an old guy, he'd comes be out. Old, he'd be old, yeah. And I'm like, I'm in awe, uh-huh, right? Uh-huh. And he comes out with this German princess. I think he married the German princess. But anyway, he comes out and I go, I, n- I need your signature here. Uh-huh. And he says, would you like a signature or an autograph? I went, uh-huh. uh, autograph, please. Uh-huh. And I got happy birthday. It wasn't my birthday, he just wrote yeah. it. Oh, no, no, no. He just put happy birthday, Derek, on uh-huh. it. And I've still got it in the uh-huh. house now. Framed. I've got Taggart's autograph. That's not a good thing. Taggart, he, kids, there was a kids, there was... Paw print. Ch- <laughs> children in need, back in the day, still mm-hmm. in school, a Chinook helicopter lands in oh, the playing field. Oh, you mentioned this, yes. Have I mentioned this? this? Yes. Oh my God, that's as close as I've come to celebrity. I, I shared a joint with Cypress Hill once. Oh, that's, that's, uh-huh. that's quite the good. The Barrowlands, Glasgow. Oh my. Have you ever been to the Barrowlands? It's all class. It rains on you, the sweat the from the sweat, surrounding yes. people. Yeah. And you lean back and in the euphoria of the mm-hmm. moment and the, the rain is sweaty and ugh, oh, it's not good. musk, like a musk. It's a very low, isn't it? Low low ceiling. It is. I think I saw, was it, now was it Faith No More there? Oh God, and yeah. L7 were supporting them. L7, and that's L's, the last they yeah. got a growler out. Well, she always did, but when I was there, <laughs> it, it came out uh-huh. and I was like, oh, oh. And she popped out a tampon and threw it into the crowd. Oh. And for about three quarters of a second, it was heading straight for oh me. Oh, my God. But then it felt like 20 people in front. But for that split second... I bet people have been fighting over it, like hounds you, on a fox. Now, you know what? You would think bits. that. You would yeah. think there'd be that young people being daft ah, going for it. Ah, but no, no, they're scattered. It's like, you know when you see a big shoal of fish... Mm-hmm. And a, a shark swims That's out. exactly what and it was like. Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah. it was not a bloody, it was just a, a just, I don't just, even know if it was properly pulled out or it was stunts. Mm-hmm. It might have been a stunt tampon. But she'll, <laughs> she'll be middle-aged now and she'll have sold out. She'll do felt work or something. I'll have to be now. in her 50s. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody. Do the Sunday f- Every, the Sunday fair. Everybody fails. I noticed the, um, the Libertines were playing. In, oh, you're in right. Dundee okay. the other day but their young buck 20 something behaviour they're now in their 30s yeah you, you passed it I agree you've got a window opportunity for hijinks youthful exuberance I think there's nothing sadder than seeing Westlife singing teenage girls songs now they're oh, all in their 50s or something it's aye. just oh let it every, go it's terrible every one of them's a bankrupt really yeah 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 that kind of happens I don't that. think they make the money no they don't they there's don't. no way just it's the only way to enjoy fame like the fame we have yeah is vast wealth mm-hmm. and we're just we're so plain to look at nobody would pick us out in a crowd I don't but know but can you imagine being like good looking famous but no money so you have to mix in society you have to go to the shops yourself oh, be no, grotesque be grotesque the kind of fame and wealth Anonymous wealth would be fantastic. That would be great. You could just build a wall. You, oh, I'd love it. Love it so much. I'd be a terrible person with wealth. You're a terrible person without it. I'd have Serbian death squad. <laughs> just on a retainer. <laughs> just on a Chinook. They're not as expensive as you think. No. There's a lot of mercenaries out there. Mm-hmm. I'd get the shite ones. <laughs> I'd get the guy. I, I remember my hometown and the, the estate I grew up. The Falklands War. Mm-hmm. And uh, the returning hero. Mm-hmm. So the whole, the whole of the, my scheme was covered in bunting, right, like okay. Union Jacks. Yeah. Remember the Falklands, Union Jacks, and all this kind of stuff. And my dad's like, "Well, a load of pish was staying." And uh, the, I'm sh- uh, in my memory, it's like a tractor with a bogey in the back, with a guy <laughs> sat in it. So this guy was back from the Falklands. Yeah. Hero returns. He was a he was a chef in the navy. He'd open tins of like Prince's ham. <laughs> He'd, he'd sat there and yeah. taken it. Well, that's his, that, that'll be his moment. That's it's like, small. you know when you're walking down the road uh-huh. and you're on a pavement, there's yeah. enough room for one person. Mm-hmm. So, And someone walks towards you and then they puff out. They're not oh, letting you pass. No, no, no. I let them win every time because that might be their only win. Oh, God, you're magnanimous, aren't you? I don't care. I have a, I have a thing I love. Again, when somebody's coming along with some big brutish dog, yeah, and he's holding it in a tight chain like yeah. this thing's gonna tear your arm off. I like going, "Hello, little," and it comes and licks you, and they're so deflated. <laughs> they're so deflated. No, yeah. I don't need to win those fights. No, you don't. I don't. Life is a fight. Life is a battle. 
Yeah, no, life is a war, but mm-hmm. you've got to choose your battles. Okay. And I'm not getting in a fight over a pavement. I'll move. I don't no, care. No, 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 no. It's like uh, when someone skip. I go into the the post office. Would you town. let people ahead of you? If in someone the queue? skips, I oh, don't care. No, no. I don't care. I'd follow them ho- home, slaughter <laughs> a family, burn their house to the ground, get a big steamroller, roll if over in flat. See, there's no, this rubble. No, no. Then I'd scatter there's salt. Too much scatter salt. Going. salt. <laughs> Nothing will grow there again. Listen. I, if there's an old lady behind uh-huh. me and she's got her, like at the moment, her Christmas car, oh, no. I go, on you go in front no, of me. No, 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 no. I don't give my seat up to old ladies in the bus. You're evil. No, no, I say, oh, do you good, hen. You just keep standing there. <laughs> oh, God, I've, I just had a stroke last <laughs> Wednesday. <laughs> no, no, I pay full price. No, right. no, no. So, okay. to my next ex, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm going to call her Anne. Because that was her name. Okay. Now, she was from the Isle of Lewis. Oh, Jesus. Now, to anyone who doesn't know anything about the Isle of Lewis, the Wicker Man was based on the Isle of Lewis. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The whole thing. But now, it's 24-7 Wicker it's, Man. Yeah, it's it's not like it's, it's real. Mm-hmm. When you go there, everyone's Free Church of Scotland. They're really full on. Mm-hmm. There's so many ministers there. Mm-hmm. That they're actually known like on Father Ted. That's the dancing man's dance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're all known by yeah, something. Yeah, yeah. That's the one that was hit by a car. Okay. Like. So she was quite religious, but didn't really live by it. Anyway, so one night I'm staying there, and we're in the middle of nowhere. You know, the house is just, every house is in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, yeah. And she says, could you nip out to the garage mm. to get a pizza? I went, yeah, sure. So I go out, right, and it's so dark and I didn't have yeah, a torch, yeah. so oh. you're using braille mm-hmm, to get past, mm-hmm, you mm-hmm. know, and eventually get there. Couldn't find the light to the, the garage. Okay. But you ha- she had one of those huge, like, out of farm foods, you know, the big fridge. Chest freezer. That's it. So I lift it up mm-hmm. and the light goes on, mm-hmm. strip light. Mm-hmm. And there is a full sheep lying uh-huh. on its side right. with its purple blue tongue hanging out oh. stuck to a good fella's pizza so I had to oh, yeah. <laughs> break it off oh, oh. so I go back uh-huh. and I said what's with the sheep uh-huh. and she went what sheep I went the one in your fridge and she went uh, oh yes there's a fr- there's a she forgot there's a full sized sheep in her fridge but are you talking like a skin sheep? No, the, no. Uh, the the like, hair. What's it called? The wool. The the, the wool. Everything's on That's it. Insane. The shitty arse. Uh, years and years ago, my cousin, her, she had a boyfriend, and he drove like a wee snappy little mini, like okay. a wee sixties mini number, right? Kind of classic okay. yeah. mini. Came round a country road and they drove in a cow. Mm-hmm. Almost died. Killed the right. cow. Terrible mess. And uh, the farmer was very apologetic because, well, the, the cow would go out his field. He hadn't maintaining the the the, the pellin, the fences properly. Right, got you. But the, the the common arrangement with the got the got the coup. Mm-hmm. And I'm sure I've got a memory of like uh, people arriving with like kind of like a, a bit of coup wrapped up in a Sunday newspaper. <laughs> right. So, but we all everyone had a chest freezer. Right. Okay. But there was a panic at the time. We spoke about the snorkel hoods. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. but the, the panic it was uh, my life, my childhood was a, you just staggered from one childhood panic to the next. You could if you climbed in a chest freezer and closed it, mm-hmm. there was no way to open it from the inside. Right, okay. So kids up and down the country were climbing into chest freezers and suffocating, That's freezing right. to death. This is, I remember this. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So this my is... mother put a wee bell <laughs> inside next to the frozen peas. <laughs> so if you you could just. Ring this little bell, she'd come running. <laughs> Thinking ahead. Thinking ahead. Because there was always like a chest <laughs> freezer sitting in a field. Yes. And kids would climb into them. Oh, oh. Jesus Christ, you forget how dangerous it is to be a child. It's, everything's out to get you. Everything's out to get you. Just everything. Yeah. Well, <laughs> everything. <laughs> was it like a. Uh, a, a Christmas bell No, wooden, or a, wooden handle yeah. Chunky Yeah Like out of the pew in a ch- Can I big you. brass thing <laughs> Yeah Periodically should test it Because <laughs> it would freeze It would freeze <laughs> Yeah if you, It's like You've you heard There was people That were terrified Of being buried alive So yes, they'd have a so little have a, rope, a rope pulley yeah. system Yeah That That maybe Slightly scares me The notion of being Buried alive In a coffin It's not pleasant I don't fancy that idea Nah Cremated 
cremated would be good. It would be over quickly. Mm-hmm. But uh, I, I remember watching the thing. Was it like an old graveyard? They were, they're doing road work in London and they were relocating graves. Okay. And they opened one coffin, and because of the the the, the it was damp conditions of the saw. This Victorian woman just looked like she'd been in there the day before. That's amazing. Terrifying. There's a place, the Palermo, is it Palermo Crypts in Italy? Know. And it's um, it's monks, capuchin monks. Okay. And they're all just popped in little alcoves and mummify in the dry conditions. Right. Look it up. I recommend it. It's absolutely terrifying. But there's these glass cabinets. Mm-hmm. We like children and adults in them. No. Oh. And they just look like they're sleeping. They're just perfect. Whatever thing they've done, it's incredible. Oh, people you, are weird. But you get the feeling if you just reached in and touched them, they would just shatter. Yeah. They're just, but it's just, they've got the eyelashes and everything. Mm. Bleh. 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 Just bleh. Anyway, this is not helping with my, my growth. Okay. We'll get back to it. Growth like a fungus. My next one. Uh-huh. I was living in America for a little while. Uh-huh. And... I was living with a girl, Jennifer. Mm-hmm. Lovely girl. But when she grew up, she was... She was unusual. But when she grew up, mm-hmm. she was actually... Her dad was uh, in a biker gang. Okay. And he killed a guy. Okay. And they were on the run, but she didn't know. She thought she was on holiday. Yeah, yeah. Living in tents. Yeah, yeah. But you wouldn't know. But he also stole a lion. And they had a pet lion. Okay. This lioness, and they'd take it around, but they had mm-hmm. to get rid of it when it started stalking cows in fields. Oh, what! So, it comes to our, our wedding night, uh-huh. uh, our wedding day. So, uh-huh. our wedding day, and our dad comes to and says, "Go tell you something. Uh-huh. That's not your name." Jeez. She had the name uh-huh. of a dead kid from California. Uh-huh. This is what they used. It is. Okay. So she found out a real name mm-hmm. on her wedding day. She was. How about that? It's. America's a place where you get the notion you could go on the run. Mm-hmm. It's a vastness. It's so big, yeah. You can do a lot of nefarious stuff because you can just you can get a thousand miles away on a on a motorbike the day after. Yeah. Scotland, no so much. Well, I I learn all my. <clears throat> I've, my plan is still mm-hmm. if I do anything wrong, get mm-hmm. in the car and drive to Mexico. I have, I'd, and I got that uh-huh. from Restless Natives okay. oh, because their original plan oh, yeah. was to drive to Pennycook. <laughs> 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 Nobody would look for you in Pennycook. <laughs> Nobody would look for you in Pennycook. Nobody would look for you in Pennycook. <laughs> yeah. Have you heard of the guy called the Monocled Mutineer? Mm-mm. He was in the First World War. Pers- was it Percy something? But he dressed... So in the trenches, he dressed like an officer. Okay. So he would go about with the, the, the swagger stick and the monocle. Right. And he would just, like, order people about. Mm-hmm. And they thought he was an officer. Personally, an officer, but he was involved in like a, there was a big like a civil disobedience within the army. What was it? A mutiny. A mutiny. Okay. There's all. But he ended up getting back to this country. He'd killed someone. But he was brought to ground in a wee. I've been to see it with my mum and dad. It's like a wee, a wee cottage in the middle of nowhere. Mm-hmm. And that's he shot like a local police sergeant and all oh, kinds right. of stuff. Just but on the run. Imagine the desperation of it. Been on the run. Like they found a up near me as well. They found a guy's body just lying in a field, okay. kind of middle of nowhere. But what he'd done was he'd removed all the labels from his clothes. He just wanted to just totally disappear. Oh. So they just they had no idea who this guy was. They thought he, they thought his shoes looked French. That was that's a clue. They thought, God, that's a French-styled shoe. But yeah, he just tried to be this anonymous. Because there was like hundreds of thousands of people a year go missing, yeah, yeah. isn't it? It's that? like it's he was just wanting like a sky burial. Know what I mean? Yeah. He's wanting to be pecked at. <laughs> the circle of life. Akuma Matata. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just lying in a field, mouldering. Oh. Ah. Just, that makes ah. you happy. <laughs> There's something pleasant about it. In a wood, maybe. I, I, I On a mossy bank. I don't, oh. Just with the sound See, of a little bubbling brook. A mossy bank just ah. sounds wet and uncomfortable. No, no. You've got to st- sphagnum moss. Oh, you know the kind of moss yeah, that yeah, you need to yeah, lie Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's absorbent. <laughs> so as you start to like liquefy... Well, you can have white moss with sphagnum moss. Mm. A docking leaf's better, though. Yes. A good. It's a good fleshy leaf. Oh. Does your finger go through at all? Never. Oh, that's amazing. Never. I'll keep that. I'll write that. I keep down. my nails quite short. Oh. <laughs> uh, oh. So yeah, anyway, so, so anyway, so my this, final 
Uh huh. This is, these are just. I'm going through. I'm. I'm I'm expressing myself as I was saying the last time. You're opening yourself opening up to myself the universe. Up. That's it. I'm letting you're spread eagle. This you're, was you're 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 spread eagle in your legs, eagle a, legs my akimbo. Emotionally legs akimbo. Oh. Okay, so I'm hoping this will allow me to move on from the past uh-huh, uh-huh. and make myself a better man. Ah, uh-huh, okay. Okay, so the final one is my current partner. Oh, who you know? I know. Lovely lady. Now Okay. This is the impression she gives. But I had known her probably about a year. Uh huh. And I went up to her house. Oh God! And I could hear she's doing the Hoover, and woo, uh-huh. cleaning the house. Okay. But she didn't know I was coming up. Right. Knock on the door. Mm-hmm. She opens the door. Uh huh. And she's wearing a quite flamboyant, elaborate wedding dress. Oh. And she still to this day. Wears a wedding dress to clean the house. A lesser man. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, in a cartoon when the the person moves so fast it leaves like a cloudy residue of itself. The first time, the, that's exactly what uh, I did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. exactly what uh-huh. I did. Uh huh. Broke the sound barrier. You ran home and then you looked at yourself in the mirror and thought, ah, God, "Do you I'm know no what good actually happened?" Than... I went, "Listen, I've come at a wrong time," and uh-huh. I left and I walked home, forgetting uh-huh. I'd left my car there. Oh God! I, j- I panicked that much. I just took off. Is it wrong? I think you've. I bet you've tried on that wedding dress. No, no, no. She's very slight. Yeah. My friend told me that. But just leave it on untied at the Always back. Always get involved with a larger girl so okay. you can try on her clothes, and that just came out of nowhere. One day, we were he just did, sitting playing the PlayStation, he and he just said he just that. offered that up. He just said it out of nowhere. Oh, and I went, good advice. I've never worn women's clothes. Mm. I used to wear it on stage when I was in bands, yeah, a dress. Yeah, no, I've never done it. A That's lot, how I got banned from every the, pub in Dundee. There's mates of mine who they're a little bit too keen to kind of say, guys, why, why don't we dress up? Not wrong with it, but can I mean you think just just admit it. You just mm-hmm. really want to dress up as because they don't just throw on some charity shop clothes. Mm-hmm. So you look like an old granny. Yes, they're very particular, and you think you've thought about the styling. Thought, see, mm-hmm. that's where I, I I think you should be able to wear what you oh, want. Oh no, it should. But be. the problem with me is I'm I dress as I did as you described me, Elliot, uh-huh. hoodie and, yeah, and yeah. combats. It's mm-hmm. the way of dressing. Yeah, so yeah, being yeah. like a living. I don't put any You need a bit of a makeover. It. Do you reckon? Mm. But I'm not comfortable in even the clothes I wear. What women's clothes do you think look particularly comfortable? Bras? No, I'm not, no I don't. No, I don't. None I don't, of that. No, nonsense. none of that. But maybe... You know, I, the the thing is with lingerie. Uh-huh. And it get, when you see a woman in it, it looks great. Mm-hmm. When it's on the ground, it's like stepping around a landmine. Yeah, because the static electricity all sticks together. Like, yeah, but it also reminds me: no matter how good mm-hmm. a lady looks, mm-hmm. and they're they're expensive sometimes lingerie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They look like you know when they're wrapping those hay bales, mm-hmm. and the, and it's the machine that does yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And especially now, some of the uh, it looks really complex. Yeah, engineered. It's, just, it's too much work involved. High heels, no, but like women get to wear a cape. This is true. A ca- a, a, I I, I or could or see a, you in a cape. A snood. Oh, that's a great idea. I'd love idea, to wear a snood. snood. I'm trying. To f- I think we've mentioned this, but I'm trying to find a velour, like, loungewear, mm-hmm. and I can't get for my size velour wear. Oh. Women, there's, it's there's velour housewear for every woman in the land. None for me. You can get some, but it's very very expensive. This is so something. if somebody could offer me some off the peg. Velour, velour loungewear loungewear see I, I, this is where I will agree with you mm-hmm. that uh, ladies have a much better choice of they clothes they do they do We've got I'm a t-shirt and jeans kind of person I've never wore jeans in my life I like jeans but I don't wash them oh Jesus so they get they get that really greasy waking on the thighs Musty. upper thighs I'm just rubbing them just now they get that waxy smells like a second hand shop waxy quality but it's your own smell that's fine it's no, absolutely it's, it's not, fine it's not absolutely fine. fine but they're quite baggy so any kind of leakage and stuff not, oh, not Jesus an issue not an God, issue used to remember the days when we wore jeans but summer holidays you'd pull on a nice brand new pair of jeans and you just wear them out you were just roughy tufty and about and climbing trees and skinning your knee and by the, by the end of the summer they just used to burn the clothes they were just like ruined. I would burn your clothes now uh, you remember there was those Levi jeans about 25 years ago and they'd reinvented the jean 
Were they not called Twisted Originals or something? No, I don't know anything about They were like an, a, a hyper-engineered gene. And I had a good job at the time, and I bought a pair. They were like 50 quid or something. Mm. I've still got them in my studio. They're in shreds. The only time shreds. I fancied a pair of jeans mm-hmm. is when I saw an old advert mm-hmm. online mm-hmm. for uh, Chuck Norris combat jeans. Ooh. And they're high-kicking. They've got a special ball triangle oh. that would allow you to I high stretch. kick I can't high kick but I would kick someone no. in the shins I've, hard as I've, shit I've, to- I've bent down and burst the arse with a few pairs of trousers <laughs> <laughs> that's, no. that, that's sensation I like I like my combats for many reasons Uh huh. you like the pooches the pockets I like the pockets you do I uh, can put my sweets in it and my bus money it's fantastic what's, what's the tiny little pocket in a pair of jeans Kind of one you think you put a, a single condom in? I don't know. Is that a change a, thing? A single condom. Be I'm not from 16. No. No, I don't know what it's for. I though. buy, you buy a cheap pair of jeans. Mm-hmm. It's a false economy. You should really buy a half decent pair of well, well riveted jean. A riveted. A riveted jean. Okay. Mm. No. I, I hate clothes shopping. I do, I go once a year. And I, I've never bought pants and socks in my life. Because I get them all at Christmas. That's true. That's like my um, hefty collection of Lynx Africa. Oh, Lynx Africa. Best smell ever. Lynx. <laughs> high karate. High karate. Oh, oh that's Christ. amazing. You could drink it. Oh, high probably. karate. No, I've seen, I think I've spoken about this. I've, I was at a party when medics were drinking a aftershave with orange juice. Whoa. What? No, we haven't talked about this. Well, I was at a party. <laughs> And they uh, ran out of booze. This is in Glasgow. And then somebody goes, there's no booze left. And uh, they went and got, like, the aftershave. And oh, no. I didn't drink any of this. I'm no mad. Jeez. And they were drinking it. Medics. Medics have this really weird attitude. Uh-huh. The minute you've reached into the, the, the skull of a, a corpse, you're like, yeah. fuck, we're just we're meat puppets. We could go at any minute. Mm-hmm. Let's just party. Medics all smoked. Really? And to this day... If you go to Nine Wells Hospitals, every doctor and surgeon in the place is outside smoking like fuck. You think it just messes with your head? It just breaks well, there's something? There's nothing you can do about it. Mm. I don't think you can really prevent anything. But by our age, there's no change in it, is there? I suppose, well, I disagree. You I'm, think? I'm trying well, to evolve. Well, you're trying to. No, I'm but that's, to evolve. that's on an emotional level. Oh, physically. I'm, I'm no, I'm going backwards. Physicality. No, 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 no. It's a mess. I can, I'm picturing your emotional centre like mm-hmm. a... A black pearl. Just I don't it, think it's as round as that. It's more no, like melted chingum. No, no, but mm, I'm not speaking about a cultured pearl. I'm oh, speaking right. about a wild pearl. Oh, they right, can just be, a lump. They could be lumpy. Yeah, it's like a hemorrhoid. And it's just surrounded by, you know the inside of a, a conch shell? You know yes. that pink colour? Yeah. And I can just imagine it, and it's just surrounded by this cloudy mass. And that's it. A and mass. By doing this, it's just brightened. It's got brighter. I think so. It's a I'm, gleam. I'm trying to improve. I'm trying to be a better person. I'm not going to give any no, your growth. Uh, when did your your growth, emotional growth, stop? A, I Age don't five. think it started. <laughs> I can put it on. Uh-huh. I have no emotion. Oh, Just no emotion. Uh, the one emotion I have is hunger. I don't... Oh, that's well, the strongest I emotion I have, hunger. That's another thing I don't have. I don't know when I'm hungry. Since my head injury, my second one. So you have to kind of force yourself to eat. I can, yeah, I can go a whole day and forget. And then you start feeling, um, I no. still get the dizzy feeling. I go, I don't feel, ca- I don't feel, if, if, I don't feel comfortable. If there's, I've got food nearby, I know, mm. I, I, no. Freak when me it out. first happened, I had to keep a food diary because I wasn't eating. If you and I were to get the lift. Yeah. And the lift stopped. Uh-huh. I'd be sizing you up immediately. <laughs> I'm like that. If we're here for two hours, I'm afraid I'm going to have to eat them. <laughs> no, I, I, um, I don't. You don't particularly like food, though. No, no. I so I like I, I like to I cook. feel it's a waste of time. I'm a wonderful cook and baker. Now listen. All right. Okay. I'll stop you right here. Do you want to know why? Why? Everyone uh-huh. that cooks, uh-huh. bakes, whatever, uh-huh. they'll lean into you and they'll go, oh. "Oh, I've got secrets." And then the, you know what they do? Everyone criticizes me. Uh-huh. And I'll go, I've just had food and I go, oh no, here's how you do it. No. Everyone's got the magic power. Uh-huh. Everyone has the magic power except uh-huh. Derek. Well, let me tell you something. Uh-huh. I can't taste the food. Uh-huh. I don't get hungry. Oh, God. Right? 
I don't feel any of that. And I genuinely feel like going for petrol or going to the cash machine, uh-huh. eating is a waste of time and sleeping. They it, get in the way of me doing stuff. So if you could take a tablet a day, would you take it? Absolutely. Just a flavourless tablet yes. that just sustained yeah. you. Okay. Yeah. If I was to go, for example, went to the shop to do shopping, You're right. and there's a drive back from the shop to the house, uh-huh. I need a pack of ox tongue to eat. <laughs> I have my travel food because there's food in the car yeah. and it's a distance, say 20 minutes before I can get home and eat it. Right. So I need to have something to keep me level. Right, okay. I become truculent. Uh, truculent. Look, I'm that bad that our mm. neighbour here who's just arrived, uh-huh. she'll say... She's a feeder though. Yeah, but she'll say, you're looking grey again. Have you eaten today? And I'll mm-hmm. go, hold on. Mm-hmm. Oh no, I've not. And then I'll stop right away and go and get food. She, I, I just don't think about she it. Force fe- she force fed me a Toblerone. Really? Mm-hmm. She peeled it and then she just Jam. it, jammed it in my mouth. <laughs> They've got smaller Toblerones, that's all I'm saying. Mm. Do, I don't like Toblerones, Toblerones because if you bite into it wrong, oh, it'll jam no, into no, your no, gum no, and that's cheek. Fixed. Have you seen a Toblerone no. now? They've changed the dynamic of it. It's all different. It's gaps. Big gaps what? between the, the little... Oh no, because the only time I would get them is Christmas. <clears throat> yeah, I've started buying my Christmas shopping. For next year, yeah, I could imagine. <laughs> no, I'm I I am prepared for Christmas. Chest freezer. I'm sorry. Hey, you know what I bought my partner? Oh, she has it oh now because we don't is, do it on the Christmas. Is that a strap on? No, listen, calm down. That'd be for me. Listen, <laughs> listen. I got her uh-huh. jewelry. Oh, the you first are time. So wait a minute. The first time. Why I've do you ever, need to? Why do you need to grow? You're there. Wait, wait. This is part of the growth oh, thing. Oh, because oh. it was only a, a couple of weeks ago I'd done it. Ah. Uh-huh. And that's the first jewellery I've ever bought. I've not even been into Elizabeth Duke and Argos. Oh. I bought her jewellery. Ah. Uh-huh. Right. Stuff she was really admiring. It's a, uh-huh. it's a friend of ours. That oh, makes oh rings. yeah, yeah. Bespoke. Bespoke. Mm. Handmade rings. Okay. Right. They're called stacking rings or something. Uh-huh. Now, when I went to this girl, Marion, mm-hmm. she makes the most incredible jewellery. Okay. It was when we were at one of our sales, and mm-hmm. I went up to her and I mm-hmm. says, my partner's after these rings. She went, all oh, right, what ones? I mm-hmm. went, I think they're called stacking. And she went, I have a lot of them, what ones? I went, oh, I thought that would narrow it down. She says, what size of fingers does she have? And I went, they have a size. Oh, so yeah. I didn't know. Oh, yeah. So this Marion just put her, her, her head in her hands, just oh, shaking them. Geez, geez. And she says, what's her fingers like compared to mine? And I described my partner's fingers as like chicken bones with huge knuckles. Oh, she, uh, like Gollum's hands. Yes. Okay. Right. Like like a, a a Japanese spider crab. Do you get a good look at them when she's <laughs> choking the life out of you during sex? Hey, I'll tell you something. She, her, I would uh, describe her fingers as sticks of death because oh. they, the, the temperature of them were so cold. Uh-huh. Have you ever seen the, Christ. the? I think it's some... Uh, life on earth I don't know what it is but it's this finger of death from the ice oh the yeah, comes yeah. down and T- kills yeah, everything yeah, yeah. that's her fingers Jesus. and toes does she give you a right nipple twister no or a no. Chinese burn no she's so delicate delicate it's just punches just punches but yeah so I got her these rings uh huh got, I got her size I had to tell her what I was getting okay you have to so I got the size mm-hmm. got the rings uh-huh. oh my god best present ever oh brownie points jewellery first jewellery I've bought in my life Oh, you're Isn't not a flower kind of guy? No, I've never bought flowers. In Dundee, a number of years ago, there was a florist. Mm-hmm. And a lot of their business was um, for graves, fun- funeral mm-hmm. bouquets. And you know what the woman was doing? She mm-hmm. was selling the bouquets to people. Uh-huh. And then she was driving up to the graveyard no. at night. Yep. Take the bouquets. What a Dismantle shit. them and sell them to other people the day after. She got caught. Oh, God. She got you caught. Murder someone you like ma- that. Can you imagine? See, the thing is, I don't like flowers, and I'll tell you why. Mm-hmm. My mother was a florist. Okay. And she used to do all the, the flowers in the kitchen mm-hmm. and stuff like that. Oh. And it smells like cat piss. It does. The lilies in particular. And I just don't you. like the smell of flowers. You know what's deeply unpleasant? What's We're that? speaking about fingernails down a blackboard. Yeah. You know the green stuff they use for sticking the flowers into Oasis. It? Oh, it's hot. That, oh, Wait, have you ever stuck, stuck a finger, your finger in, in it? it? I don't mind that. No. I don't think that that's that bad. What you could have done to surreptitiously got the finger measurements from someone is to take a block of that and say, go and stick your finger in that. And when they do it, you got it. you've got the size. Or you could just ask them. 
No, I, I like to go about things in a more kind of creepy mis- way. <laughs> 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 Just go up to people on the street. You could fill a petit filou. All right. Yogurt pot full of that green stuff. But wouldn't that be suspicious in itself that you have that in your no, pocket? No, but I've got a very honest face. I don't know. If I was to go up to people on the street, people think, what's this guy want? Must be That's what you believe. That's the way you believe. see yourself. The police have not proved Deluded, otherwise. Exactly. Seven so. juries. Seven <laughs> juries of my peers. Seven mm. times. But what's the weirdest thing you could do in the street? How far could you push it? I'd, I, what? Just being weird, but not in a set. Why would you think that? I, don't, I just don't know. Like I remember, there was a there was a homeless chap and he was begging, and he had a sn- like snakes and lizards, mm-hmm. and he he built like a little little, little he had a box full of like f- shrubbery and stuff. He he right. made like a little zoo. Right. Okay. And I thought that's pretty suspicious. Did I tell you about the time I was on the bus and there was a guy? He's a bit of a junkie, light, and he uh. says he was talking about Dave. He was talking uh, about Dave. Yeah, and yeah, Dave, Dave. Dave. And he says, do you want to meet Dave? Oh, went, God, oh, no. Here we go. Then he, he, he reached into his pocket and pulled out this bald tarantula. You could have heard me squeal from space. Oh. And I'm at the back and I couldn't get past in him. In his He's pocket? In his pocket. And he, this little shivering girl oh. of this tarantula. Not a single hair on it. And he holds it up to my face and he goes, this is Dave. Dave's, Dave's, Dave's saved my life several times. And I'm like, oh, God. God. It seems to be like people like a pet that's got some kind of danger to it. So you used to get like pit bulls and stuff, mm, but mm-hmm. they're kind of lovely, lovely yeah. dog. And then the husky was a big thing. You used yeah. to go, because I had a chihuahua many years ago, mm-hmm. discussed what I got from the pound. But you go to the pound back then, it was all Staffordshire bull terriers. Yeah, that's You go to the pound terrible. now, it's chihuahuas and huskies. Yeah, but the thing they've gone to now to dan- it's the snake, it's the exotics. Mm-hmm. But they take a lot of looking after. Yeah. So there's people that will have like a, a Mexican bearded dragon in a shoebox. Oh, that's terrible. Again, no, they're such glorious it's, it's, animals. Again, but they'll keep some axolotls in the washing machine. Or, what's wrong with a, a cat and a dog? I'm a big believer in cats and dogs. They're a domesticated pet. They're great. They're domesticated. I hate... Um, it's, a th- it's a pet peeve of mine when you got YouTube videos of bush babies. Uh-huh. Yeah, like exotics. Because like yeah. first thing they say is, I want one. Yeah. And then this yeah. poor... There was a pet shop in my hometown many years ago and they had a monkey. Mm-hmm. And that... My hometown's cold and this poor fucking monkey. See when I was a kid? Awful. You know, uh, Duddup Castle? Yeah, yeah. Right up from here. Yeah, yeah. Yep. That used to be run down really badly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there used to be cages all the way up the side, and there was monkeys in it. We oh. used to, when we used to bunk off school in first year, we'd oh, walk past monkey. it, and there was monkeys in there. Was, was it a like private squirrel monkeys? I don't know. I, I've said this to people before, and a lot of people can't remember. And then I've said to others, and they go, oh, yeah, the monkeys that were there. Yeah, people remember the monkeys. But people, they had chi- this pet shop had chipmunks as well. But I'm led to believe, like... A TV remote controls mm-hmm. a make chipmunks epileptic. They have, oh, they the, have like seizures. Right, it's because the LED in the front flashes. Yeah, yeah. something. Oh. I just, but no, can a little animal that you approach a cage is like, oh my god, get this yeah. like shivering. No, a cat, cat and a dog. I love my cat. Have you seen the um, in Japan uh, monkeys? I don't know what kind, oh. but they're domesticating little deer. And they feed the deer mm-hmm. and they groom them, but they also ride them. Oh, the ride them. No, no, ride them like uh-huh. like a wee properly, and uh-huh. they'll, they'll go miles on these things. Jesus, they've domesticated Christ. animals. Isn't that incredible? What well, just one of these days, nature's just going to shrug us off. I think yeah, it's. I think it's doing it now. I had a funny look from a pigeon this morning. Mm-hmm. It wasn't a look of fear. I think it gave the game away a little bit. I'm oh. going to start watching my back. You gotta watch Dundee pigeons. They carry knives. No, but everything. Imagine if like blue tits took umbrage with you. How many blue tits are than Dundee? Ten thousand. Ten thousand. They'll get in your window. <laughs> they'll get in your bedroom. <laughs> Hiding under the duvets, and they'll get help you. They'll, their little beaks, they'll peck through there. I saw um, for the first time just a couple of years ago a woodpecker mm-hmm. in Dundee. Yeah, uh huh. 
these things. I thought they peck away a bit of wood. No, no, no. The, it's like a reciprocating saw. Yeah. They just brrr, and there's, the sawdust was falling yeah, down. It was a, incredible. There's a woodpecker comes to my bird feeder and eats all the fat balls. Oh, fat balls! I've tasted one. <laughs> Why? It's good. It gets between your teeth. Well, imagine it's a, a block of lard filled with peanuts. But don't, What's not to like? Go around, don't What's eat What's not that? to like? Please don't. I've eaten cat food as well. I've eaten cat food, yeah. A, a, what's the nice stuff? Sheba. No, 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 that's way too wet. It, it needs had to be a, a whole, dryer. It had a whole prawn in it. Oh. Sheba, I thought that prawn <laughs> looks good. <laughs> you never opened a tin of cat food, because I'll tell you, I'm always hungry. You open the cat food, you go, that smells okay. I'd be okay in a wee cracker. I've... Uh, uh, opened. I don't know what make it was, mm-hmm. but it was a salmon one. Oh yeah, yeah. And there was eyes in it. Oh beautiful oh, salmon oh, eyes. Buy, yeah. buy eat the eye of the fish. No, don't. Don't. But the thing is, don't. a tin of sheba is going to be no worse for you than a tin of corned beef. Mm, is it? I don't know. It does say not for human consumption well, you, for a here's reason. Here's one. Here's one. In this, in certain countries, when food meat is unfit for human consumption, the diet blue. Right, yeah. Okay? Mm-hmm. So the diet blue, so if it gets into the food chain, people can go, hold on a minute, that's unfit for human consumption. That's fair enough. They don't do it in this country mm-hmm. because the dog and cat food manufacturers say it looks very unappetizing for the dogs and cats. Mm-hmm. Dogs can only see in black and white. I can't see colour. So it's done, so it's appetizing looking for the person opening the can to feed the dog or the cat. That's fair They don't like the look of... It's like blue, what really blue smarties don't look particularly good. That's what they really need for dogs, like seagull flavour. Yeah. They'd love that. Asshole flavour. Oh, dogs love would love that. that. Just, oh, they don't care. Love that. <coughs> they don't care. My, I found my cat this morning. I'll have a picture. I'll show you. For uh-huh. the first time I saw it, drinking heavily out of the toilet. Clop, 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 clop. And he had a strong purchase. He knew what he was doing. This is not the first time. So I was like, oh, you... Have you ever seen people train their cat to just climb up in the toilet and take a take a My, my cat daily pees in the toilet oh, and he wasn't trained. Jesus. He just God. does it. He just does it. Just does it. He's done it actually from about the second week that I got him. That's he just jumps strange. up and pees. Yeah, no yeah, problem. knows too much. Yeah. I'd be suspicious. But he's been very good at that. He does it. Yeah. Occasionally there's a little jobby in there. I picked up. Ten shits this morning. Oh god. Ten of them. But they're dry. I used to quite daily I'd go and get a piece of tissue paper and empty. I just pick them up with my hand. So I just take them for one hand and have a wee handful and I just give them a wee shake. <laughs> it's like it's like get the roulette it can dice. <laughs> You're clink, clink, clink. What's the what's the one they play in uh, Vegas? You know you shake the dice. Oh god, whatever it is. Yeah. Yeah. You know those black really blackjacks, like blackjack with the wee shakes. I got offered to go to Vegas with my friend when I was living in America, uh-huh. and because she worked for an airline, so we get free flights okay. anywhere. I ended uh-huh. up going to Chicago, but she says, "Do you want to go to Vegas? Mm-hmm. You'll get anything you want." And I went, "Anything," mm-hmm. and she went, "There'll be any women to do anything you want." Uh-huh. And I went, "Can you get a, a bridey?" Aye. And she went, "No, no, you can get anything except that." I went, "What about?" A bridey and a beano. She went, no, anything that a woman could do. I says, I want a prostitute with a bridey and a beano. She went, fuck off, we're going to Chicago. So I didn't get to go to Vegas because I was not taking it seriously enough. I was a... <laughs> I was in Soho. Okay. And we're in, I was in, like, it was a kind of art school trip or something. Mm-hmm. And we're in the Admiral Duncan or something. You know, remember the one that was bombed? Yes, yes. I was in there. It was a really nice pub. Stood at the bar. And uh, I was approached by this very attractive woman. Mm-hmm. But she's beautiful, really beautiful, tall, elegant. And uh, she she came up to me and she says, I couldn't help be uh, overhearing your accent in your Scottish. I says, yeah, yeah. She says, oh, it's a lovely, lovely accent, Scottish accent. I says, that's good, that's good. She goes, God, yeah, you down here for... I says, yeah, I'm explaining, I'm down here. Work, the kind of work thing. Been to London much? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she says, oh, my... Um, my last name Scottish, and I says, "What's that?" She goes, "Farquharson," and I says, "Oh, how, how?" I says, "How we pronounce that up north is Farquharson," and she says, "That's lovely." And she kept speaking, she kept speaking, and I thought, "Hold on," I says, yeah. "Look, I don't want to yeah. offend you, but uh, you're showing a lot of interest in me. What is actually going on? Yeah. You know, I mean." She, I says, well, "She goes, oh," she says, "I'll be up front." She says, "I'm an escort," and I goes, "That's lovely," and uh, I says, "Just as a matter of interest." 
Mm-hmm. Uh, how much are your services? She said, like, oh, straight sex is £100. Betty, I'll piss in your mouth for £1,000. <laughs> <laughs> and she gave me this business card and then we parted ways. But it was fascinating. Mm-hmm. But it was a very elegant thing. It was elegantly done. It's not like that here in Dundee. It was elegantly with done. With all, all yeah. the prostitutes that are around this building. No. No. The one, the lassie with the one leg. Oh, God, yeah. Can I mean... It's the girl. Oh, we, I, we talked about it. The girl yeah, with the wellies. The wellies, yeah, just dragging themselves about. Oh, the street awful. behind here. Oh, we can't explain how it. bad it is. It's so bad. There's Viagra. A box of Viagra yeah. the other day. There's there's those the 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 gas canisters. Lots of that. Lots of those. There's discarded. You know what condom. I hate? The condoms is when I think you described this as well. But when someone takes it off and they're stuck to the wall, there's yeah, a fence around there them. and it's stuck. To it's it. horrible. But there's a lot of graffiti. Oh. But there's like graffiti on top of graffiti. There's Can beautiful we, graffiti. There's some, some lovely stuff, stuff as well. But there's dog shit everywhere. Mm-hmm. There's a chest freezer being abandoned. Exactly. There's yeah. a there's a, a there's a city. It's just. It's, it, you, when I walk along there at night, I would not be surprised if some zombies just started uh-huh. walking towards it's, you. Yeah. And there's the abandoned, there's asbestos. Oh, Christ almighty. Oh, that whole building, that whole area is asbestos, the whole well, roof, isn't it? That was it? in the local paper. The whole yeah. place has been redeveloped. It's mm-hmm. going to, there's going to be millennials. Oh, God. You've got to be a millennial to get one of the houses in there. Oh. There's going to be bike racks. There's going to be yeah. no space for your car. Yeah, the whole thing. Bike yeah. racks and an allotment. Oh, God, no. One of those vertical gardens. Just leave those A vertical <laughs> garden. You know, Jesus. It's all parsley and stuff. On that note. That's wonderful. Do you feel better now? No, nothing's no. happened. Oh, God. I feel worse. Oh, Jesus I'm Christ. I'm Derek Fendas. Goron Vor. Next time. Ta-ta.